Good morning. Hello. I'm Here we are bitchy. again. One more time. And I don't think what you, what you, I don't care what you think. Let her, let her, let her. She don't know what show she's let on. Let <laughs> She got another show called. <laughs> I don't know. Let her, let her, let her, let her. I wanted to say something really quick for the people who know me and especially are in this area. Um, uh, hopefully you what watch. What area? I mean, we're in, uh, we're in Alaska at I'm the in, moment. Well, well, I was in Alaska. I just came oh, back. Oh, we just, we just came back. But, um. What it is is that I won a contest. It's Yay! called the Miles Davis. Uh, what is Miles it? Davis it's, contest? Oh, it, but it's a tribute to Miles, Miles yeah. Davis. So I did one of his songs. It from was kind a, of blue, called yeah. all, all blues. I did a song, but I did it with harmonica. So, and it I was guess, a contest that you had to uh, submit your video uh, with something from Miles Davis. Yeah, and uh, it was for the Hague Jazz Festival mm, yeah. that's coming up soon. This it's Saturday. I'm going to be at the Billy Holiday Tent. At uh, 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. And I'm going to put on a hell of a show. Mm -hmm. I want you to come there. You and, better come. It's and a 40, throw money on the stage. He won a 45-minute <laughs> show. So now that then was, you can see his talent. And that was cheap, though. They, you know, come on. I, they well, we got some tickets, though. Money. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Show me the money. So all, uh, all, uh, it's going to be like a showcase. So everybody, uh, that's that's our bookers and um, big events yeah, organizer. Come check me out, right? Come. There I go. And you can see us live. There I go. There I go. More to come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the words. <laughs> you better study quickly. Okay. Um, we would like to bitch about something that everybody holds near and dear in their heart. The trouble with going on an airplane. Airport security. God, and airport security. Can you imagine? <clears throat> now, what's his name? Bin Laden? He has won the lottery. Could yep. you imagine that this guy has disrupted the rest, the Western world with just one... With one action. Yeah. Well, it was... Well, a, you know, I, that, I, I, I still feel sorry that's, for the people yeah. who were victimized and murdered. But it was murder. Yeah. Murdered was. by this knucklehead. Now, see, here's another guy. Here's another guy who went to Harvard. Another guy uh -huh. who... Or, Harvard or Oxford. I wanted to play. Because I'm not really interested in you. Mm. But here's another guy who's intelligent. Yeah. And intelligent enough to get uneducated people to... Can you imagine somebody telling you go out and blow yourself? But even what kind using, of shit? Yeah, but using this intelligence for hatred. But but listen, we, are we dogs or, or or turtles or goldfish? Come on, if somebody tell me to go blow myself up, I'd beat the hell out of them. Yeah. Blow myself up for you. And, in America, and I know, see, I know, see, I, I worked in, in the agency before, so I'm not going to say much about that, but I know... That what you're trying to do is you have accomplished. Yeah. What you wanted to do was take the rights, take our rights away. And you have accomplished that. Have fear. Oh, well, fear. fear. And, and, and we are so suckers. We're suckers for the fear game. That every time you turn around, that's what, what most government, and that's what your teacher and everybody else did. They use fear-based um, comments and ideologies and, and, and stories. And it's the same thing with the, with the little wolf who ate up the pigs. I, I guess the story must have been like, Three don't run in the woods with pigs. <laughs> you might get eaten up. I don't know why they tell us that damn story. <laughs> but, yeah. but A lot of the stories are, are cruel. Cinderella, yeah. Sleeping Beauty, there's mean people. <laughs> Walt, Walt Disney must have had a mental problem. <laughs> he wrote some mean stories. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm thinking about Hansel and Gretel. The funny part about it, I, I asked myself, I'm still talking about fear. And also airport security is fear too, mm -hmm. but fear-based. But the thing is, what was this story about, Hansel and Gretel? Were two little kids, poor little kids eating and the witch could have put them in a pot? Yeah. Can you imagine? You wonder why your children have nightmares. If you hear that as but, a little kid. Yeah. yeah. So, there's, there's some woman going to put you in, put you in a cage, feed you, and then... If you, if you, you eat pot. candy, yeah. basically. Oh, maybe that's because what it was. They, they ate candy. They yeah. said, yeah, if you eat too much candy and cookie, you're going to get... That could have been it. Yeah. Probably well, a story, made, be more story made up thought. by Dennis. 
Well, the thing is, you made up by a dentist. Yeah, so you can't hear. You gotta get here. By a <laughs> so the thing is this um, about airport security. I want to tell you guys, I'm not a terrorist, and most of the people who are going on vacation are not mm -hmm. terrorists. Yeah. Taking all our clothes off and acting all stupid and asking us Opening fifty thousand. And how dare you do this to me when I spend my hard-earned money? And the only thing that you can do is slow down the progress of me moving from point A to point B. And you know what it is? Get you. Yeah, especially black people yeah. have to open their Oh, man, let up. me come through the line. If I'm not wearing a suit and a tie, God damn, I'm in the corner somewhere going through my luggage. You can't. But still, you I said, I just packed right. it. Now you want me to unpack it, you knucklehead. I said, and if I was, and see, this is the strange part about it. If I was, if I truly was a terrorist, believe me, you wouldn't be able to tell that I would because I would be trained mm -hmm. not to blend into the crowd. And that's the reason why you're not finding them. And so you need to spend more time on intelligence and less time on all that old goofy shit in the airport wasting everybody's time. And I'm talking about you, you blue yeah, suit money, wearing, money white shirts, TSA knuckleheads who don't know what you're doing. Shut up and get a real job. Yeah. And, now, and now, we're being, now we're being scanned. It's uh, Schiphol, like uh, we're like cattle we're going through X-rays. You don't know what is what effect it might yeah, have then on you, you say later. Like, hey, I got somebody a head growing on on my shoulder. That's from, but we need to. You know, I, I, the big problem about a lot of societies is that the people do not stand up and voice no. their true feelings about how they feel, and what happens is that we are being treated as idiots and they always said this and they've always said this the government said this the masses are asses and that's the way they treat us so that's it for today thank you very much watch out for those little stories you read your <laughs> children don't be scared them little kids and have a nice day and see you on saturday bye, bye. Welcome to the neighborhood.